And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Heimer Dinger control. We're going to be pairing Heimer Dinger up with Karma today for our control deck. Of course, Heimer Dinger is just amazing. Um, but Karma is really good too, being able to uh, fill, at the end of round create a random spell in hand. This specific list that, that I'm playing here today is is like the, the list. Um, you may remember like a couple of weeks ago I played, probably about a week ago, I played a, Heim a Heimerdinger Karma control deck, one that I, I built myself that was a little rough around the edges, but, but you know, it played okay uh, just because of the power of these two cards. Um, uh, but then, um, but uh, this this specific list, I guess that's what I was saying. Is this list was is the list that's just on like the the tier list on Mobile Addicts. Um, wanted to give this one a shot. This one's a, a little bit more, a little bit more aggressive. Um, you know, like we have, uh, I don't know. I guess it's it's about the same. But we don't have. I guess the the main thing is we don't have the expensive cards. Like there's no. Uh, flash of brilliance in here no no like eight nine mana cards you know even seven eight nine mana cards um or i guess progress day that was the card that i was thinking not flash of brilliance progress day there's no flash of brilliance is up there sorry no progress day um in the list so getting like actual t hexes is going to be a little tough but of course karma dinger or karma makes some spells for our heimer dinger as well Four man is going to be the important thing. This is something that I'm the other thing that I'm worried about. Uh, Spirits Refuge to be able to protect our two uh, champions, we need a Spirits Refuge, which costs four mana, and we need Deny that costs four mana. And it's hard to have four mana protection um, for these things because you know how you can bank the three mana. So you have to like wait another turn, be able to have your three banked mana plus an extra mana. Um, obviously we do have the twin disciples that can protect at three mana, but for the most part, we're going to be using those at four, but yeah, we're not, we're not really going with, um, no chump lumps or anything like that. That makes extra, you know, like we don't have the chump lumps to make the poison puff caps and then loot away the poison puff caps. We don't have like that aspect to the deck. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see how this does. Um, so here we go. All right, uh, let's go and go play in ranked, and let's get our rank back. All right, I had a message here to respond to. Okay, so we have Flash of Brilliance, which is awesome with Heimerdinger. But I think I'm just going to ship them all back. Because we do need to find our champions. And so without having any any of the champions in hand, like we're not winning if we don't have Karma or uh, Heimerdinger. Like, we absolutely need those cards, so... We found a Karma. Hmm. Soul Shepherd. This looks like an eph ephemeral deck also. Let me get rid of this Twin Disciples. Uh, disciplines. <laughs> oh, I never remember the name of that card. It's Discipline, not Disciples. Solitary Monk is, is pretty nice whenever you're not playing any other creatures. Three mana, four, three, elusive. Whenever you play it, you have to re recall everything else that you have on the battlefield. But if, you, if you're not playing other things, then that's not even really a downside. So it's just a three mana, four, three. So that's pretty nice. There's our Heimerdingers. I am the blade in the darkness. 
Oh, normally I'd want to be able to just bank this mana this turn, but of course, Zed, we just gotta kill Zed. Or try. All right, and I think I'm going to lead with Karma. I could lead with Heimerdinger because we have a backup Heimerdinger. But Karma gets me another spell right away. Whatever the cost. You want a picture of the, the desk setup? Hmm. By force of will. We'll just match him with twin disciplines. Hey, Harem King. What seems to be the problem? Why did I say that we weren't playing Progress Day? We have multiple Progress Days in hand. Jerry rig. Bleh. Hmm. Not exciting hand. So I pass priority over to them to see if they would play like a uh, a Hecarim, and then I would would have thermogenic beamed it. One, two, three, four. It's all welcome. Yep. Yep. It's all working. Happy Friday, everybody. All right. So I, so they're going to be playing the death mark, right? And so I wanted to make sure to be able to have a Will of Ionia available. Westonic, getting that Twitch Prime resub. 13 awesome months. Thank you so much there, Westonic. And they got a deny. All right. Well, I got backup Heimerdingers. So, all good. We played a six mana spell. We get this free token. Um, kind of want to cast this thing just to get it out of my hands. But I know it, it fills the fills the battlefield too. But we can just make jump attacks with it, with them. Mushroom Cloud. So they they get to gain five life by blocking these things, so it's not really much life. Alright, cool, I'll take that trade. 
I'll take it. All right, never mind. We're bouncing. And they're down to eight. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. My spirit is an unpunchable fire. Flipping the karma. So now all of our spells are doubled, so we can cast the progress day and draw six. Or I can give them ten poison puff caps, heal an ally for six, and so on. Progress waits for no weaver, then kindle a new. All right, they get their Zed back. So the main problem is I can't, I can't really empty my hand fast enough. I don't know if that's how much of a problem that that is, but it's a problem. We don't get to choose new targets, so if we play unsummon, we only unsummon one thing, and then that's it. You don't get to—we don't get to choose another target. Want this out of my hand? It makes this wrench bot, but whatever. Uh, makes two wrench bots. That's worse. Okay. Got some damage done. Ours is the will of Iona. We will not stand by. Togu's on. Ours is the will of Ionia. I can all the spies there to mine. Attack. Jordan! 46 years young and the sub. The old guard. Alright, so right now this is two. This tramples over, so four, so five. So we have five damage coming in right now. Which is not lethal. But I'm gonna bounce this thing and try to make it lethal. We have enough mana for a deny. They try. They have interaction. We got to deny. I'll let them kill and draw two. I suppose. Hey, what's up, Blade? Boom. Got the win.
Yeah, QQ, did you see? Did you see the... Um... Oh, I don't know if QQ's in, in the chat right now, actually. I could just be his bot messages. <clears throat> QQ's not just a bot. QQ helped me build my PC. Which I guess could still be a bot. So Spooky Karma is our opponent. Let's trade out these two. Taking a break for now, Rudy. I got the kids. Legends of Ruterra is a really, really well put together game. If you haven't checked out this game yet, highly recommend. I wrote why I like it more than Magic. <laughs> why I recommend it over Magic uh, earlier on in the week. If you want to check that out, it's free, free to download, free to play. Okay. So the Kempunk pickpocket, whenever this hits that, it's a 3 2, whenever it hits them, create it in hand an exact copy of a random spell from their deck. We got Vile Feast, which is about as bad of a spell as we could get. TBH. Alright, gonna barrier that. Probably the worst spell that we could get from their deck. So the real question is whether to play the other pickpocket first or just go straight to combat. I'll go straight to combat. Okay, see, that's a good one. Yeah, I need to install Steam. I haven't, I haven't taken... Um... Hey, Rudy getting the sub. Thank you, Blade. I haven't taken my Switch out of the package also, and I don't know where my Switch controller is. Maybe it's in the, actually, maybe it's just in the box with the Switch. Um, but no, but not tonight with this being like, you know, I still, with this being the end of the month, I have some, some things I got to take care of tonight and tomorrow morning, like figuring out. Like where to where to pay bills and stuff like that. It's been a super busy week for me. Let's see. So they just play Karma. And try to kill their kill their karma. We'll just discard that extra spell that we got that I didn't really want. You're off the next two days. Clap. Well, perfect. Well, then, this weekend. No, the Ephemeral Aggro is not. No, I think Ephemeral Aggro is just fine. It's We played tons of really close games and uh, weren't always going our way. But, um, you know, a lot of good, good close games. There's Vladimir Spiders. Perfect. Thank you, Yud. Let's update this with the thumbnail now. Vladimir Spiders. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to just go straight to attacks. I kind of want to play this other pickpocket first. TPH. Give me a death mark. So if they try to deathmark combo me, then I would be able to deathmark them right back. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Wow. 
That is not good. Hey, there you had somebody concede during turn one during one of your actual expeditions. So you're pro probably playing against somebody who didn't need, you know, who already finished their expedition stuff and was playing a free one. Because I was wondering if, if you do play against people with the free ones, and I figure you probably do. Whoa, Blade's gifting out three more subs today. Santa Blade coming on back. Thank you so much there, Blade. Elgato, Lignog. And Cillian. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Um, Alright, so I have too many cards. I gotta start playing stuff. I guess I'm gonna pick a Flash of Brilliance. Shuffle that into my deck. I guess. Take from the rich, give to me. Not escape. Master. All right, I'm just gonna play this flash of brilliance. <laughs> Another twin disciplines. We have four of these things. Another inside of ages. That's all I have in my hand are just inside of ages and twin disciplines. There's just nothing else. Ugh. Get rid of this and this. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Check out the goods on this one. So I have ten mana, so I could play three disciplines. I can try to just double discipline this and I have one discipline backup for removal, but they could have two removal spells. They do have a million spells in hand. Get, having the barrier actually could could work it even better. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going for it. Hmm. They are gonna gain three life from this, so this isn't gonna be lethal anymore. Will happen here if, even if this just happens. They're they're gonna be able to keep this four through this four four. What was the point of that? Oh, they they have death mark. Yeah, they have death mark. All right, so this didn't. Um... 
This didn't, uh, did not work out well for me. I went, went for it all. But they had the answers. Not surprising with all the cards in hand, but I was hoping to win it there. Drew another t Twin Disciplines. Uh, yeah, see, I mean, yeah, they definitely, definitely uh, got some historic cards that I'm a huge fan of. Ionia speaks through me. We will not stand by. By force of will. Um, you know, Night of the Relic, where he goes, quarter, that kind of stuff. But no, I'm giving this Legends of Ruterra game a, a real chance. This game is, is really awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think I'm winning this game anymore. Well, it was already going to be kind of tough, but the turn that I went all in and them having the answers, that was the turn I lost this. No, I don't think they'll unban Field of the Dead, no. Well, the only card we can play is this. This gets me two random spells. Okay. So aren't aren't the worst spells there? So I can do. I'm gonna do like three, two, one. Slow speed. Thanks, Cornbread. Reconsider. I think where this went wrong for me is whenever I had, yes, 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 you won, I understand. I think where that went wrong for me is whenever my hand was like 17 twin disi disciplines and nothing else. I think that's where that went wrong for me. Ezreal. All right, we'll get rid of the Mystic Shots. Get another Mystic Shot, naturally. This is probably going to be a slow... I was going to say a slow first few turns, but I guess we got the Pickpocket. There's a really small chance that this Pickpocket actually hits. Between them having Ice Veil Archer, Mystic Shot... Very small chance that that would hit. All right, cool, Blade. Yeah, let me know how it's going. So Mystic Shot can take out the Archer. There it is. 
Alright, we'll take out both of them. So hopefully they won't have a blocker now. Alright, do we get to connect? Smells like opportunity. Still likely not. But we're gonna try. Wow, it worked. Alright, so we gotta get excited. That's a card that I can get excited about. Yeah, we just ended up losing a whole lot of close games with Ephemeral Aggro. It's either play the 4-3 flyer, pick this back up, or just bank 3 mana. I'm going to play this, pick it up, bank 1 mana. Heimerdinger. If I knew I would have had you, I would have just saved the mana. Hey, Jeremy, my week's going great. Thank you, thank you. Yuck. Well. Guess not looking so great now. Hmm. Logical. Yeah, that was good, Elnuk. Roll for sure. So this the four makes a four one. Four one fearsome. Not looking too great for us right now. Wow. Never mind. I still thought still thought we had a pretty decent chance though, because we we're gonna be able to untap, we we're gonna have like get excited and you know kill one thing, make you know, make a turret. Like we're gonna still do okay. Um but not anymore. Now we're just pretty dead. Uh, what's the sub goal supposed to be? I don't... As far as I know, that's that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, no, we're we're dead. Where there is life, there is hope. I think my best chance is just getting really lucky with karma here, but we're pretty dead. Elnucks are strong. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Leaping into action. Act with conviction. Puts me down to one. I, 
I have two options. I can go for the barrier lifesteal to gain four life, but then I'm dead to any... Any removal spell. So I need to, I need to keep deny up for the remo So I think keeping deny up for removal is my better course of action. And I can't play Heimerdinger because I need to have deny available. A never-ending cycle. Hmm. Progress waits for no one. Blech. So, Ezreal's at seven. All you have to do is just level this up to eight. Whenever they cast a spell, deal two to me. I can't do plus three and life steal. All right, so denied that, so they don't get to flip Ezreal yet. We got a 4-1. All right, we got one bull out here. An extra two one to block that. All right, Karma, give me a good one. Hex tech transmogulator transform a follower into another follower. Just followers. Doesn't work. All right, well. Hey Zibaj, now playing Legends of Runeterra. I think this game is actually better than Magic. And I wrote about that on this Google document the other day, if you missed that. Really recommend checking this one out. I'm so good, I but myself. we're going to lose this one all day, as long as if they have a spell, I lose. They have a spell. So. What? Deal two damage to that? Really? I'm at one. Why don't you just do two damage to me? Oh wait, I can deny that. So then will it it won't trigger that if I deny it? Reconsider. Can we steal this? Steal this? And fire! Progress! Heimerdinger levels up. They're at 17. I have to like basically kill them. Eight, ten, twelve. I 
have a Will of Ionia and a Spirit's Refuge. I'll give this plus three, plus zero, but doubles up because of Karma. So that's 18. He actually got there. Wow. Wow. That was one I did not think we were winning at all. For like the lat for like the three turns leading up. Wow, Heimerdinger is so good. And Karma hit some some real important cards. We got pretty lucky with our Karma hits. So I didn't want to... Yeah, so basically I was already attacking for lethal, so I didn't need to lifelink anything, because the lifelink had uh, the barrier also so for, for protection. So if they had a removal spell, then I would have barriered whatever they were going to remove. All right, going to keep these early removal spells because we're playing against spider aggro. So keeping the cheap removal. Sending the more expensive cards back. Man, those denies were clutch. Wow. Those are some clutch denies right there. <clears throat> Round one. Pass. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm saving. I'm just going to end round. <clears throat> well, let me play the pickpocket. I'll play the pickpocket. I'm going to save Flash of Brilliance because it's it's such a good card to have. with Like, you turn five, you play Heimerdinger, use your three spell mana, play Flash of Brilliance. What do we get? An atrocity. Okay. So I'm going to save the spell mana. I'll pass. Let them attack first so I get to block. In case they use like a black spear. Fair enough. Now. But making sure they got the three mana. So Heimerdinger. Twin Disciplines is perfect. We can give this plus zero, plus three, if need be. Yuck. That was not a good random spell. to just pass I can't I can't kill one of their things uh, because if I do then they could have the black spear all right so these are all three power they're all to its power equal to anything They're all fearsome. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Gives me something to discard. At least. To just get excited.
So I'm gonna take a risk. Because I, I want to be able to get all these other turrets and everything. Now they can kill Heimerdinger. But our Heimerdinger did get us a whole lot of value already. And so I think we're okay even if they kill Heimerdinger. And not letting them draw cards. You know, like, so they're down to just the three cards. Okay, they couldn't. So what happens if... Hmm. If I play Solitary Monk and bounce everything, do I, can I just replay these things for... Oh no, it costs three and four mana to play them. Okay, never mind, so I don't want to do that. Hmm. I'm tempted to make a T-Hex, honestly, and just play Thermogenic Beam, make a T-Hex, and then play T-Hex. Nah. It's tempted to do that, because then, um, you know, T-Hex would be like an 8-8 Trample, probably does a lot of damage. And then I can, uh, you know, put them down to like a, a low number, and then I can Atrocity kill my T-Hex. Tempted to do that. The dark beckons. Just passing. What do they have in hand? All right, gonna give this barrier and life steal. Atrocity. I will deny that. We should have this pretty easily now. This will flip Heimerdinger. Yeah. Strength of Heimerdinger, making all those turrets. All right, back up to level 2 platinum and we're 3 1 with Heimer Karma control So Demacia with Ionia. Interesting. I'll get rid of these two, keep the Thermogenic Beam. And of course keep Karma, we need to keep our champions. So I wonder if this is like Elusives with Rally maybe? I could see that. See elusives and rally together. Yeah, 
Yuck. Everything's better with company. Green Glade Duo. Alright, just gonna get rid of that. Alright, so the monk can bounce the assassin. So we can play the assassin again and draw another card. They'll never see me coming. The Yordle here is with me. And Zed. Hmm. Maybe I just do Barrier Lifesteal on Zed. You cannot escape. Cancel out this two that we're taking. Go down to 13. Worked. Answers. I have them. I don't expect them to be playing a lot of removal spells, so I'm hoping that uh, Heimerdinger resolves, or well, I mean, obviously it resolves, but uh, um, stays alive and allows us to untap with it. Shh, quietly. Got what I can. The thing, though, is for Heimerdinger to make an elusive turret, we have to spend three mana. And our spells cost one, two, four. Cost three. There we go. They'll never see me coming. Perfect. They'll never see us coming. No. We got five mana still. Let's bolt this. Bolt. That block this too late for you. and try to do that. Maybe I should even bolt the other one. Maybe I should have just done the life steal. Yeah, I am glad back to back at six. For sure, too. All right, time to make a bunch of one ones and two ones. And kind of attack out with them. Try to race. They have three, three power in the air now. Attack. I assume they're gonna trade this two one away. And it'll free me up a slot. This one's trouble. Without a 
without a sound. So much power crippled by restraint. Power is nothing without purpose. Get rid of that. Does that work? There you go, Blay. Good job. Made it to gold using the buffed elusives. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, so that didn't didn't quite work. What other spell you got me for me, Karma? Ooh, that's a good one. Ritual of Renewal, that's a good one. So they attack with Zed, I get to just jump block with two one ones. That's what that's what I want to do. I hope they attack with Zed. Good. I can I could go life life steal with the karma, but I'd rather just get these things out of here. Honestly. Oh, that thing's slow speed. Hey, noob loco, I'm doing great. How's your Friday going? Hey, boo, gifting out the sub to noob loco. Thank you, Santa Boo. Our seventh sub of the day. Okay, trying out the Ezreal Elnux. Yeah, that's a good one. This is a 7-1 with what? I guess just nothing? It's just a 7-1? No overwhelm or anything? Dimensions don't determine themselves. Okay, it had barrier before. I'm considering doing like the giving this lifesteal barrier making a 4-1 and then playing the 4-1 yeah they just got the two cards in hand i do that or i guess it's a 5-2 right yeah 5-2 because they're plus one plus one now <clears throat> you call that sneaky? Well, it's still lethal right now. I have to make another block. Progress waits for no one. I am a true master. Okay. Well, that's not going to save him. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. All right, so that's 9 10 11 12 13 14. Okay. All right, so we're going to give this plus 3 plus 0 and I'm going to do 2 damage to that turret to kill it so they don't get the life gain 
And now we have 12, 14. Boom. And we're four and one. All right, four and one. We're gonna play two, you know, two more. We're playing seven uh, matches with all these. If we get two more wins, we can tie the Vladimir Spiders deck with another six one. <laughs> yeah, guys, Toppy, like the seven one for zero is so bad. It has nothing. Ooh, all right. Looks like a fearsome rally deck. Spells are good, but we need one of our champions. There is a champion. So no champions, sending them back. I'm sorry, Walker. Sorry to hear that. Hey, Two Mellow. Happy Friday. There's no way this works, right? There's no way they have nothing, and I just get to hit with a 3-2, right? Yep, no way that works. All right, so just going to pass, because I have the Mystic Shot to take out Mr. Wraith. Mystic Shot doesn't have a whole lot of targets, but Mr. Wraith is one of the best. This can trade with like a skitter or you know something else like that. Hmm. I think I may just just block and just trade. I think I just trade. Don't be calling no enforcers. And not take the damage. No. I don't really know what else this health potion is doing. Rats. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, don't pass, don't pass. I'm meant to attack. Uh, four damage. All right, so it looks like the opponent has another Mark of the Isles, because if they had nothing, it wouldn't do anything. So they have another Mark of the Isles. Okay, nice, Walker. Yeah, I recommend this one.
order reward is faithful. They cannot hide. I walk my path alone. <clears throat> because they're Mark of the Isles, I'm not loving my chances. I can just spend this one mana now. isn't good. Say so I could spend the one mana now and just do one damage to that thing, so if I block it with the 2-2. Two -two. Okay. That helps. So let's see. Block there, block here. So they'll, they'll use Mark of the Isles on this, and then I get to bounce it. Hey Mike, yeah, just just uh, change names. Change uh, went with the name instead of Todd Stevens MTG that had the MTG in it. A name that is more versatile and it can use with just a you know wide variety of games instead of um, a name with a game in it. Santa Boo, thank you, Boo, Boo Walker. Walker, you are now a sub. Get to that is second mark of the Isles. Get to use those hype boats now. Trying to finish this out, or, you know, trying to stabilize. But that's not the easiest. Round and round and round it goes. Yeah, she love when people just use their emotes to show you that they won. Removal spell. 
We drew a removal spell. Interesting solution. <clears throat> That's what they get. For emoting saying that, the, that they had won it. It's not over yet. We're down to one. One's not zero. <clears throat> it's definitely not that we're, you know, we're not necessarily ahead, but we're not dead yet. Oh gosh, that was a great draw, drawing a champion. That was a good top deck. I mean, I I got a good top deck with my bounce spell. What you looking for? I wish we would have dealt. We could have dealt another four damage earlier that I missed. They would be down to five right now. Spell? No, that's not a spell. Bleh. So we needed to draw a deny, I guess. We almost came back. Came close. Almost came back. But yeah, there's no progress days in the list. This specific list I didn't put together myself, but uh, yeah, no progress days uh, besides flipping a Heimerdinger and then, you know, like the other side of Heimerdinger. Um, a lot of times with these decks, you already do have a lot of cards. Like Karma gets you like those extra cards. I haven't missed it, so I haven't missed it too much, but Progress Day um, does, of course, work really well in here. The Solitary Monks have been haven't loved them. <clears throat> There's our Harmadingers. And I haven't loved the Health Potions. But this is a good spot for Solitary Monk. They get to gain three, but they're already at 20, so that doesn't matter. Go, 4 3, go. Attack. I am not going to pack packs. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if anybody else is heading on over to packs. <clears throat> All right, we do have a backup Heimerdinger, so even if they have removal for this one, we got a backup. Even though, you know, because I don't have protection for it, of course. Flash of brilliance, and it's gone. The Leaving for packs tomorrow at 6 a.m. Have fun, QQ. <clears throat> Vile feast. I don't have a deny. You're hyped five hour drive? That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, you'll have that done before you know it. So they're just passing. I would like to cast this Ritual of Renewal. 
What's the seven mana card? Just oh, it's the seven one barrier. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, you'll you'll have that done before you know it. Basically doing this, I guess, just to play a 2-1. Use my mana a little bit. Hex time. Rise my creation. Strike hard. Don't think there's anything bad about me attacking with Heimerdinger. I think that's an Ionia card that gives everything. They'd give them all. Hmm. I have a bunch of these spirits refuges. So sure. They don't get to gain their three life. I deal another four damage. I make a four one. Deal one to everything, heal three. Okay. Oh, but then that loses the barrier. Right, right, right. Well. Yes, yes, again. Oh, well. There's a progress day. Fight. If I use it as a progress day, then I'm out of Heimerdinger's. But if I do use it as a progress day, then I can still Will of Ionia and bounce this Heimerdinger. A fine spectrum of pyrotechnics. Did not get a cheaper... I could have, you know, I could have drawn a deny, which I did not, but did not draw a cheaper <clears throat> Will of Ionia either. Hey, BJJ, what's up? Welcome, welcome to the channel. I I play Legends of Runeterra every day, starting at three Eastern. And put up all the replays up on YouTube. Do expeditions on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. So I got 10 mana. Karma is just going to level up as soon as I play Karma. I don't think I really need to play Heimerdinger and Karma together to have both of them out there as far as Ruination is concerned. So we wouldn't actually draw any... <clears throat> oh, 
Um, Wait, why do those go up to their hand? Oh, the solitary monk bounced them? That's interesting. Oh, first I'm watching live. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so you usually watch the YouTube videos. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Cool, yeah, thanks for, thanks for jumping in over here. Hey, Budacris, yeah, change names to have a, a name that wasn't based on one singular game. All right, they surrendered. Their creatures were ephemeral. I was basically trying to see how I was going to lose that. I was, so I think I was, I was mostly just going to take everything. Because I think I had the, the ability to take everything, and I was going to cast the gain seven life. You know, gain seven, like the seven drop, gain seven draw card. I was going to cast that and make a seven mana, you know, make a seven one with the Heimerdinger. Well, I guess an, an eight two, because it was transformed. Make an eight two. But there we go. There's our, our Heimer, Heimerdinger Karma deck. I liked how it played. Uh, I think it kind of... I think it was kind of good not having a, a bunch of expensive spells that could get stuck in your hand because you do get the uh, random spells with Karma creating a random spell and uh, Flash of Brilliance creating a random spell. And so you do normally get the expensive spells anyway. I, um, health Potion was kind of was kind of whatever, but I, guess I could see Health Potion being necessary with the aggro matchups. So I, I don't dislike that one too much. I, Solitary Monk seems kind of kind of cute. I kind of feel like I'd rather have just another spell or I don't know something else. Because when you're later on in the game, when you have Heimerdinger out, you, or like really either of your champions out, you can't you just can't cast Solitary Monk anymore. But I guess if you have your champions out, maybe that's okay. Then you just don't need Solitary. You know, at that point, you don't need Solitary Monk anymore, and you can just discard it to get excited. Um, but it was a good, you know, it's a good early blocker. So it does that, you know, it's a, it's a good early blocker. Uh, I do think deny is pretty good these days. Deny really won us one game, but a lot of people are playing expensive spells, which makes deny a good place to be. Will of Ionia was impressive. Also, it, it played quite well. So the Ionia spells played pretty well. Um, but yeah, this is a good, good version of Heimerdinger, uh, good version of, of Heimerdinger there. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've played a couple different Karma Lux or no Karma Lux. I only played. Yeah. We played the Karma Lux yesterday. I think, I think that was yesterday, either yesterday or the day before. No, it was the day before. Yeah. The day before we played two Karma decks. Karma Lux was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, like just. Yeah, you could do some crazy stuff with Karma and Lux, that's for sure. Um, I know that was a that was a pretty tricky one to play, and the first few games of playing that deck, I think I, I made a, you know, I was making a few like sequencing errors and stuff just because that, that was pretty tricky to play, uh, picking that one up. But yeah, Karma Lux was pretty sweet. All right, there's Heimer Karma Control. This deck felt really good. Uh, five two record and ranked nothing wrong with that. All right, uh, those y'all on YouTube hit that like button over there. I'd appreciate that, and um, you know, and uh, feel free to leave those comments if you're playing uh, ranked and and uh, got any uh, decks that you really like. Feel free to leave those deck lists there in the comments. Um, you know, questions, anything like that. Uh, but there we go. So thank you so much for watching some Heimer Karma Control, and I'll see you for the next video.